The trick to that Monster Cat Rocket League sound is to here is the most versatile super saw preset and processing chain for perfect. And what I made in this song would freak out 2011 Ash. I really miss this style of EDM. Made popular by labels like Monster Cat and channels like NCS, it's been one of my favorites for so long. And while it's not as mainstream as it used to be, it's kept alive by the most important class of people. That's right, I'm talking about gamers. You'll still hear music like this in games like Rocket League and Geometry Dash, and it all starts with setting the BPM to 126. Fast hi-hat. claps on the second and fourth beat. And an open hi-hat on every other beat. All together, that's Boots and Cats. Deep kick for the intro. Layered with a few chopped up almond breaks. That'll make a cool little groove, that sounds like. On a triangle bass, plan out your progression. But since the majority of people playing Rocket League are under 12 years old, let's stick to two notes. I'm joking! I'm the one who still plays baby games when Valorant gets too hard. But the trick is to actually keep it simple because we're going to add complexity through melody. That's what y'all should be focusing on anyway. So basing everything off the two notes we just wrote on a wavetable synth like Serum or Vital or Wavetable, use another triangle wave, but set the decay on the envelope so that it's super plucky. Expand the two note progression into something a little more in depth by writing a melody using a combination of broken chords and chord extensions. Lock it into a major key for that feel good vibe that competitive online video games definitely provide. Assemble it all using the multiverse of melodies and you'll end up with a memorable and catchy tune. Guaranteed. Not sure what I meant by any of that? Watch this whole playlist and you'll have something that sounds like... With melodies like this, you want to focus on the rhythm for maximum movement. So, add a delay, reverb, EQ, and dynamic tube for analog sounding goodness. And finally, a top line melody on one of many super saws. Make this in wavetable by picking the saw wave, turning unison to noise, four voices, and turning up the amount until it's a chaos saw. But since this is the intro, we gotta filter this in. So automate the frequency. and some vocal chops from a vocal you'll add in later. And all together. Now, I will admit, I don't actually play Rocket League, and I don't really listen to this style of music as much as I used to. But I will say it was the soundtrack of my life when I was first learning EDM production. And what I made in this song would freak out 2011 Ash. So let's keep going. Copy over the triangle bass onto a sub bass. Copy the triangle chords onto a piano. Copy over the entire Boots and Cats loop, but also add a crash, reversed into itself. And also a pre-made snare build, cause I'm lazy. 
keep the saw top line going, but make sure that filter stays opening up even more. And find a vocal that complements it perfectly. Going online to find it is fine, or you can sing it yourself, or you can get out of your comfort zone and reach out to singers on TikTok or Discord or Reddit. Just don't complain about not being able to find good vocals if you don't put in the effort to actually look for them. The key is to make sure the lyrics sound like they're saying something profound and deep, but in reality saying nothing at all so they can relate to anyone who's never experienced any form of hardship in their life. Projection is a psychological defense mechanism. I'm building castles in the sky cause I cannot see the recipe for you and me. Make sure to stutter the vocals as the drums get faster and also pitch it up at the end for extra nostalgia. <laughs> All together, me and producer mode for just a second and I'm actually really excited with how this song is turning out and it could use some original vocals if you start seeing this song pop up on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, or TikTok. It's all thanks to longtime friend of the channel and sponsor of this video, DistroKid. With DistroKid, I'm able to upload all the music I've been working on to streaming services and since you watch my videos, you can too. When your music's ready to release, use DistroKid to get your songs out into the world. For only $23 a year, you can upload upload an unlimited amount of songs to those platforms. Plus, it's a good safety net to release your songs independently, even if you do get signed to a label. Because what happens if you grow as an artist and you don't quite fit within that label's roster anymore? Independent distribution through services like DistroKid is perfect for situations like that. Plus, you keep 100% of your profits, and more importantly, you keep ownership of your masters. So if you're like me and ready to release some music, sign up through DistroKid right now. And because you watch my videos, you can get an additional 7% off your first year with my VI. IP link. It's just down below. As always, thanks DistroKid for sponsoring this video. And now let's see where this song goes. All together. Big, beefy, thick, kick. Punchy but thin snare. And we don't need to copy all those fast hats anymore because we don't need all that movement. The only thing we will keep is this open hat though. Layer in the crash. And some white noise. That'll sound like. You're on thin ice, buckaroo. I need super saws now. So here is the most versatile super saw preset and processing chain for perfect thick super saws every time. First, you need to buy Pro Q EQ for its dynamic multiband EQ matching, and then add on a Stereoizer Gulfos Soothe for wideness that matches the linear phase using a pink noise harmonic spectral resonations that only uses 23 milliseconds of latency is what I would say if you ask this question on Reddit. You just need chords that don't have any low notes. That's right, I use the same two chord progression. All I've done is simplify the chords and add an EQ to cut out the lows and utility to bump up the width just a little bit. But you're listening to this being like, ash, that's kind of thin. Isn't it? But you just copy and paste it with a saw, AKA not a super saw. Notice the no unison, but that sounds like. Call that the secret saw. S secret saws. And listening to them together. But hold up, you know me, we're not done yet. The root notes from those chords, well, they actually ended up over here onto another mono saw and put them an octave down. Then just add pedal and wombo combo. Copy that exact same layer, but change the wavetable to a square instead and use a utility to force it into mono. Same thing with the sub bass. But don't forget the spice rack. need to add some kind of lead melody. The trick to that Monster Cat Rocket League sound is to match the rhythm of the lead with the chords. Notice how all of the pauses happen during the snares as well. 
here's how to make it. Then copy it over to a whistle sign layer for some extra juice. It's literally just a sine wave with a noise oscillator and wombo combo. Now for some additional details, little vocal chops right after the first beat. This chime down sample. Corpus and auto pan onto melodic samples for an aggressive hit that can be used to start a filler glitch that you'll spend way too much time making. <laughs> Strategic tape stops. And make sure at some point you include a fake out if you want that Knock 2 Porter Robinson, Maddie and EDM Avicii Skrillex Rocket League Monster Cat vibe. <laughs> And the third up variation for the lead later on in the song that's predictable, but sounds great anyway. And guess what? This song is coming out on Monster Cat tomorrow, is what I would say if I knew anybody that worked there, because I'm pretty sure that's the only way to get on the label these days. Maybe one day, guys. And even though I sound a little salty, I'm sure it has nothing to do with how rough the past few months have been. From a fire in my building causing my power to go out for like 50 hours, which led to my PC breaking and almost dying, to a summer full of heat waves while me trying to make videos and music with broken air conditioning and the only air coming from these little windows, which led to another fire in the building and the power going out again for another 50 hours. It's no surprise that I'm in a constant state of panic because I'm not as consistent with uploading and streaming and just being able to do life in general, even though this this is all I want to be able to do. And look, literally, <laughs> power went out this morning on one side of my apartment for whatever reason. All while rent keeps going up. And I do my best not to bring this stuff up because I know this is what I signed up for by starting this channel. Now I'm just rambling. <laughs> cool your jets. At least I can film this. And shout out to anybody watching, any of the producers who don't have all the fancy equipment you see on a lot of YouTube videos and are just trying to make it work because you love it. I got your back. We're all in this together. It actually doesn't matter if I get on Monster Cat. Because of you watching right now, I'm able to make whatever the heck I want to make. And making this song reminded me of the times where I just worried a little less. I really miss this style of EDM.